On today's show, Barb and I are going to make pork meatballs with orzo pasta. We're going to have a tomato sauce with fennel seeds. It's going to be really delicious. We'll also have a few other things to go with it, so let's get started. to the Diabetic Diet Show. Hey Barb, what's the question of the day? Do you like cheese? If you like cheese, give a thumbs up. Let's start out with our pasta. So I'm using a rice cooker today, kind of an experiment to see if this will work or if I need to boil water and cook the pasta. So let's give it a whirl. Don't put any salt in until it's boiling. Otherwise, it will pit your pan. Let's start out making our meatballs. So I have a nice package of some fresh ground pork. I also have some ingredients to put with it. So I'm going to be using my Italian spices. That's my Carabas Italian seasoning. And if you'd like to see what all is in there, I reverse engineered Carabba spices. And the link is right down there. If you hit the subscribe button, you'll see the more button. And all the ingredients and measurements will be there. I'm also going to be using fennel seeds today. Fennel can be a little strong. Don't use too much of it. But it's definitely a great taste. So I have them all measured out. I will be using breadcrumbs today. So I have them all set and ready to go. So also in a little while um, I'll be making a sauce and you're going to want to use some kind of wine a marinade of some sort with your uh, pasta sauce so I have that all measured out and then a little bit later we'll put some cheese in there you can use mozzarella cheese you can use parmesan or pecca romano would be really good so the pasta is starting to cook Okay, we have some things cleaned up here. Let's go to the next step. I'm going to use my gloves today. And I have my pork. I let it sit out for about 20 minutes to warm up. Seasoning, try to sprinkle it on a little bit so I don't get too much all in one spot. And breadcrumbs. Okay, and I need some salt and pepper. So let's get some salt and pepper out here. This little container has a magnet on it. Sometimes it can be hard to open. It really works well to keep them shut. Okay, pepper. That is a Italian pasta kind of important thing. Have to have black ground pepper. And salt, I don't use a lot. I notice people use a lot of salt, I don't. Okay, now let's mix this up. And this is your only way to do it. This is the way grandma did it. Okay, now let's get some olive oil out in a pan and we'll get the uh, pan heated up. I'll go to medium heat, olive oil, and then grab a brush and just even it out in the pan. And you want just a little bit of a covering on the bottom. This is a little bit more than just a couple of drops of olive oil. Okay. Now we'll make some meatballs. And you don't want these to be too big or they won't cook very easy. So you basically just start making them, put them together, dropping them in the pan. At this point, now, I'm at 160 on the meat, and I'm cooking them on a stove here 
which is actually too hot for this ground pork. I kind of wish I would have used the electric. But I already started, so I'll finish it. Now, you want to get your wine and your pasta sauce in here. If you need to, add a little water to thin this. And I'm gonna let that go for just a minute and get a little bit of water. While I was waiting for the meatballs to cook, I cut up some celery, some carrots, and uh, I'm going to put some olives in here and some olive juice. That'll be good. And I have a dinner salad for us. I'll take a little bit of greens from our scallions. We'll put that there. And then we'll put the rest of it in here with our sauce and our meatballs. Just like that. These are almost done, so I can turn the fire off now. I had to use a full six ounces of water for mine. So you also have to put in as much water as you need to get a little bit of a sauce in there so let's see what they look like just to make sure we're safe here this is a pretty simple meal so it's all done I have my pasta I can kind of stir it a little bit here in the bottom of my dish and get some meatballs nice wow they look great mm. then we'll get a little bit of cheese on it as well. This is a meal fit for a king. Mm. There you go, folks. If you enjoy cooking and you want to make recipes like this, I have a lot more ideas right here.